Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a first impressions slash mask with me on the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Exfoliating Super Peel. That's what the packaging looks like. Before we begin the video, I'd love to start by thanking all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. And for those of you who keep on watching my videos, it literally means the world to me. If you have not already done so, please be sure to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. So, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Exfoliating Super Peel. You can find her at Sephora and PeterThomasRoth.com. She retails for $88 and you do get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is standard for a uh, facial mask. As far as claims, this mask does claim to improve uneven texture, improve smoothness of skin that is starting to show the signs of aging. So as far as ingredients, let's chat. There is a 35% phytic acid extreme. This is a rice-derived acid that chemically exfoliates the skin to soften and smooth texture. Phytic acid or phytic acid is thought to be gentler than AHAs. So you do get 35% phytic or phytic acid. So you also get 14% gly acid 70 HP. This is a glycolic acid complex that helps to smooth the skin and improve texture. Glycolic acid does have a smaller molecular size than a lactic acid, a previous mask that we tested. So if you do have sensitive skin, the lactic acid mask may be a better option for you. Glycolic acid, as we've discussed before, helps to break down the bonds between cells and it also acts as a degreasing agent. Overuse of glycolic acid can potentially cause dehydration and overproduction of oil, so do be careful. You also get point 4% salicylic acid within this formula. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid or a BHA that also exfoliates the skin. This does have a larger molecular size, however, that helps to improve skin texture while also decongesting and minimizing breakouts as salicylic acid is an oil loving acid. Um, this is also an excellent anti-inflammatory agent. Something I already love off the bat is that this mask does only have nine ingredients and it is fragrance free. Um, as far as packaging is concerned, um, as I mentioned in my previous first impressions of the Peter... Okay. If you hear Toby, it's just Toby. He's dreaming, he's running after squirrels in his sleep something like that. So let's talk about the packaging. Um, as I mentioned in my previous Peter Thomas Roth first impressions slash mask with me, um, I really like the unit carton of all of this pro strength range. I'm only reviewing the mask, although I did receive the retinoid peptide serum, but these are all designed similarly. And although it is not cohesive with the rest of the Peter Thomas Roth range, I do think that that was intentional as these are meant to give you pro strength vibes and pro strength results. Um, the unit itself, I'm going to open her up is packaged in a gray tinted glass bottle with a black cap. And this consistency is, I don't know if you can tell, quite liquidy. As far as packaging, the one thing I did notice is that unlike the other unit, this one was not wrapped in plastic, at least the top was. 
Um, so that is all I will say about that. Now that we have discussed ingredients, we are going to move on to the demo portion of today's video. Okay. Welcome to the demo portion of today's video. Um, let's chat about my skin today. Let me pull up my mirror here. Toby and I have already gone on our walk. I did wear my sunscreen and I did wash it off with the Best A Jelly Cleanser. I am having a little bit of a love affair with her again. Um, and I have not toned the skin. Uh, just by looking at it, there is a little bit of irritation here along this cheek and just a little bit of a very small number of whiteheads here. No big deal. I don't think my face is dry. It's just a little dull right now. That's about it. Um, I didn't use anything that would resurface or anything with glycolic, lactic, salicylic, or a retinol last night because I knew that I was going to be filming this video for you all today. Um, so that's pretty much it. I haven't done extractions in a while as well. Um, that's it really. Skin just looks a little, little dull. Um, so we are going to be doing a mask with me slash first impression on this little guy here by peter thomas roth the pro strength exfoliating super peel um so let's crack her open you do get this little bit of an informational there there's a little bit of a discrepancy as far as directions on this again so here on this sheet it calls for a cotton pad application on the box it calls for a cotton round application as well but when you get into the bottle itself it calls for a fingertip application um, this one is a lot runnier than the other product which as a far as an update, I do love the finger application a lot better than the cotton around application. So I am going to be applying this one with a cotton round today and we'll see where this goes. You are going to be applying this with your cotton round, not your fingertips. And you're going to apply this. See, this says two to three pumps. This is not a pump. This is that. So I really love it if they would clarify that. You're going to saturate your cotton round um, and you're going to apply this over clean skin while avoiding eyes. Slight tingling is common. Leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse thoroughly with water to neutralize treatment. For best results, you want to use this up to twice a week at night. And as usual, with a HA application, you do want to wear your sunscreen every day as you should be doing already. So I'm going to take a cotton around. I haven't toned my skin and I probably will after we are done. So I am going to maybe shake this a little bit and I'm going to do a very thorough job at saturating my cotton round. I think it's saturated enough. Not sure if you can tell. And this, just as the other treatment, does not have a scent. So good on that. So it is 305. So I'm going to start at my forehead. And the chin. Ooh. 
Does it say face and neck? It just says clean skin. Okay. So I'm just going to let her be. It's 3.07. I'm going to count three minutes from now. I'm not feeling anything. That's what I said in my last video too. And then, whew. Um, so let's see here. Not feeling anything. I did try to do as a thorough a job at saturating the cotton round. Um, you can definitely see that I have applied the product on the skin as there is a little bit of a luminosity just kind of peeking through. Just gonna have a little bit of coffee. Again, not feeling anything whatsoever. No tingle, no print pickle, nothing. Nada. No redness. Nothing. And this could be due to the fact that I have been using the lactic acid treatment every two to three days since I recorded my first impression. So um that could have kind of prepped my skin or conditioned my skin to a treatment such as this which you know i do not mind at all um as it sounds like this is meant to treat uh textural and the signs of aging so it's 309 now. I'm going to say that I stopped applying it at 307, a full application, so it's now 309. I am going to make my way off to the sink to rinse this off and then I'll be back with some thoughts. Well, that was really fast. Um, let's chat about what I felt as I rinsed this off the skin. I felt a mild tingle here, but that was it. Um, I felt no heat, not a pin prickle, not a tingle at all after uh, masking or even during the masking process, to be honest. Um, there is definitely a luminosity peeking through the skin now that it is dry. Um, I haven't toned and I mean, I, I do need to do some extractions here along the nose, but other than that, we're good. Um, so there is some luminosity peeking through. Skin does feel smoother and I was tempted to leave this on for much longer than three minutes, but I did not. So I would advise you to do the same. Even though you're not feeling a tingle, just remove it if it's been three minutes. You do not want to over exfoliate the skin or potentially cause a burn. So today's routine might be a little bit different than what you are used to. Um, I have recently emptied this babe out. So I am going to go back to my Murad hydrating toner. Missed you so, so much. This is literally one of my favorite toners of life. Um, what do I want to do next? Should we? Let's try this, babe. Uh, this was just sent to me, and this is by Good Molecules. This is their super peptide serum. This is formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. So this calls 
for you to apply one drop in the morning and at night before oils and moisturizers. You do want to let her absorb for up to 30 minutes and um, you can use this for a.m. and p.m. Um, I have been using this all week and I like it. One drop, yeah right. This has gone on just as it does any other day. It It's a very lightweight serum. It's very watery. I mean, it's already absorbed onto the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with the Erno Laszlo Multitask Eye Gel Cream. Um, this was also sent to me uh, recently, and oh my god. This applicator is everything you would want after a long day. All you want to do with this is kind of pump it up there and then it just pops up and then this gives your eye area just like a nice loving hug after a long day. Like, it literally just, like, hugs that orbital bone so nicely, or that under eye area. I probably bring it too close to the eye, but I find that this is not irritating, and maybe it's a non-migrating eye cream, because I don't experience any redness or irritation or, like, a watery eyes. In the morning or at night and I do and I have been using this morning and evening my favorite time of day however is using it in the evening after a long day and if you would like a more deep puffing calming and cooling experience you can definitely throw this in the fridge and oh my gosh so I am definitely going to apply a sunscreen and this is still a favorite of mine. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Max Naked, Max Mineral Naked Broad Spectrum SPF 45. And I think this actually won an Allure Best of Beauty Award. I always felt like this was more of a dewy, luminous finish. So I'm going to take that much. This is an all-mineral, lightweight, moisturizing sunscreen that has a natural matte finish and a universal tint layering beautifully over moisturizers and under makeup. Um, matte finish? To who? This is my face. It's so rattled. Uh, this is a, a tip as well. If you can, make sure to always treat the back of your neck as well and your ears if, you know, you have access to them. Okay. This is my skin after masking with the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Exfoliating Super Peel. And I am very impressed. Despite me already starting to sweat, um, I think the skin looks amazing. Sorry as I'm cleaning up here. I think it looks really good very impressed I'm gonna collect my thoughts here and then I will be right back okay so now that you have seen me um, use the product I do want to touch touch base on a few things as far as uh, the application process sent. So, um, how did the application or product application, how did that feel? Um, I saturated the cotton round very well. Um, the product applied very easily over the skin. Um, there was a smooth glide. Uh, there was no patchiness in the application even though I did go over certain areas multiple times. Um, and Although there is no fragrance in this, there is no like strong acid scent to this at all. So if you're very sensitive to scents, 
there is none within this formula. There was no pinprickle as I applied the product over the skin. And again, only as I walked to the bathroom did I feel the slightest bit of a tingle. And it was mostly here along the laugh lines. When I did rinse the product off, I did feel the slightest tingle, but it was so minimal that I'd almost say that I felt nothing. As far as the removal process, because this is such a watery, I don't know if you can hear it, because it is such a watery, lightweight formula, it was very easy to remove. Um, I would definitely recommend that you do a couple of splashes of water over the skin just to make sure that you have completely and effectively removed the product from the face. Um, because it is clear and very lightweight, you can't really tell if it's been completely uh, removed. As far as product performance, the products performed very well. This is definitely a nighttime treatment, so I'd advise that you definitely follow that instruction. I imagine that the following morning your skin will wake up brighter, smoother, plumper, and more radiant. If you do experience any sensitivity throughout the masking session, I definitely recommend that you follow it with either one of his uh, gel Based masks and do make sure that you avoid any actives um, that night simply go in with your favorite moisturizer and you should be good to go so because I am filming during the day and I do have a full face of makeup I do think that the makeup looks great skin looks amazing I don't feel any activity whatsoever I made sure to rinse the product completely but I definitely don't recommend that you use this prior to makeup application you do just want to let your skin breathe um, after masking with such a potent formula. I would recommend this to anyone with normal dry combo oily skin. Um, if you are concerned with pore size, dryness, and definitely a uh, texture and skin tone, this is an excellent product for you. Because this is glycolic acid, glycolic acid tends to uh, make sensitive skin a little bit reactive. So maybe avoid this if you've got sensitive skin. And you do want to use this about two to three times a week. As far as a rating, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10 again. Um, because there is a discrepancy again with directions. Uh, the actual unit calls for application with fingertips. This little insert here that they've inserted within the box calls for cotton pad application and the actual unit carton calls for cotton round application. I wish that the directions were a little bit clearer so I am going to deduct 0.5 points for that. And as usual, because this, um, because Peter Thomas Roth tests on animals, I am deducting a point for that as well. So I am giving this product a rating of 8.5 out of 10. Do I love the results? Absolutely. So, if anything changes, I will be sure to update you all on the bottom bar here down below as I did with my previous uh, Peter Thomas Roth lactic acid mask. I will be sure to give you all a very lengthy update in the bottom, bottom bar down below, so do make sure you check that out. If you um, maybe watched that lactic acid video, do make sure you read the description box or yeah, the description box down below um, for an update on that. So that is all I have for you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Toby is tired and hot. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what your favorite exfoliating mask is in the comments down below. I'd really love to know. And that is it. That is all I have. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.
which is back. I always am tempted to like apply more. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Toby's streaming again. I don't know what that guy is doing over there. He is chasing something. Sorry, Toby is having a moment today. If you have not done so, please be sure to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. 